Introduce yourself for people that may not know who you are. I'm Will Van Duenhausen. I'm the Community Relations Director for the Brand for Blast. Now, I first became aware of you last year, and I believe you were an intern at the time. Yeah. You were doing a whole bunch of stuff on social media. We just interviewed Peter, and let's be honest, Peter's not necessarily Mr. Social Media, although he does understand Facebook. Your thoughts from last year's foray into giving uh, the Blast PR in social? Yeah, actually I started the season before with uh, Facebook and Twitter because I kind of noticed that it wasn't being, in good terms, put um, done well enough. So I reached out to Peter and I was also at the same time videotaping. So I reached out to him and said, oh, I think I, I, think I could help with the, the social media part. And then he said, oh, sure, we'll, we'll let you take it over. So I took it over the first season and it was kind of a learning curve because I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to do it. but. As I got into last season and working full time for my internship with Peter, it kind of, I, I think I had a lot better results and just created content that our fans would enjoy and they have really enjoyed it so far. I, I like to think anyway, so. We've had selfie nights, you yeah. know, where, where people put stuff up on Instagram. You got the normies with Norm Tollhurst uh, from the booth taking pictures of yeah. himself. So you definitely have far more of a presence. You also have professional photographers that you're yeah, sharing line pictures. Line your thoughts on, on, on that aspect? Yeah, live photography is great. Um, I'm very happy that they're with us and that's, that's also a huge part of our social media presence. I know that a lot of our fans look forward to those pictures after each game and if I'm a bit late posting them, they're like, where are these photos? So they really look forward to those shots because uh, Ryan and Lisa just do an incredible job. And we also use obviously those photos for other various advertising, whether it's Peter's ads or anything really. So yeah, If I'm not mistaken, he proposed to her right here on Center Ice, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, Center Ice during, um, I think it was game two against Whitby. And that's what kind of spun the whole selfie night was we wanted to have kind of a cover up for for him to propose to her without her knowing. So we, we made it selfie night and I think that's actually going to be something that we might go with again this season because the success was was incredible. But yeah, it was a perfect cover up and Peter actually wants them to get to get married at Center Ice. He's been joking around. Yeah. The aspects of, of social is, is a minor part really when you think about the larger aspect of what you do. Sponsorship is a main part. It costs a lot of money to put on a, a team. Yeah. Walk me through what's involved in sponsorship, what you're looking for, what people could benefit from. Yeah, so I'm just recently new to that. Um, I started doing it a bit with, with my internship and then now since I've been full-time with Peter since I believe June, I kind of took a bigger role in that and I'm still not 100% comfortable with it but I'm getting there and um, Peter and I have had a few a few meetings with about small about sponsors as well and um, I'm definitely learning a lot more but it is it is still hard to to I guess sell sponsorship but um, well so it's hard to sell something, some, period. Sell something period, so, so yeah. let me ask you the question this way if you were selling me a sponsorship what's in it for me what do, what do people get as part of a sponsorship yeah so um, a lot of rinks, they just basically do your rink board ad and that's it. They don't do anything to kind of enhance that partnership. So what we do is you get a rink board ad, you get um, your brand on our website, as well as our in arena PA announcements. And um, with our hire package, you kind of get your own theme night. So you can have a, a table set up and take part in the puck drop and really get your brand out there. Um, Peter and I pride ourselves in um, I guess giving the sponsor the most value that we can, um, as well as social media. With, like you said, with me, with me taking over that, um, we we like to include that as well. The expositor is one of your primary supporters. Uh, you've got uh, special packages for people uh, that, that get the coupons and expositor and stuff like that. Talk to me a bit about the print side of, of what you do. Yeah. So. Um, as you know, we, we do an ad, an ad every single Thursday through the Expositor, and um, we're, we get page three of the sports section, um, and then we do a press release and every week promoting the upcoming game or in the summer when we signed all those players. We'll send that out to the Expositor as well as other newspapers, but the Expositor, of course, is the most important one. Um, so we. We send that out and we normally get front page of the sports, so they've just been an incredible partnership for us and 
really get our message out there to our fans, whether it's an upcoming home game or, like I said, new players or anything like that. You also have season tickets and, and special yeah. deals for people that go with season tickets. But you've had some go out before. Are they still available? Are you still doing packages? Well, what's involved in a season pass? Yeah, so we normally start off just after the, the season ends with the packages, and they're on sale for uh, a discounted price of $1.99. But um, so that deal has since expired, so they are still available now for $2.99. And that comes with tickets to all the regular season and playoff home games, as well as an Otter Creek golf pass with the power cart and a uh, blast jacket. I wish I would have had that with me, but the, the jackets are really nice and our, our fans love them. So it's a really, it's an added bonus to getting that season ticket package for sure. You're doing something special with one of your sponsors, the Lung Association, special game ward jerseys. Uh, I, I'm thrilled about them because they got zombies on them. Tell me a bit about uh, Jersey Night. It's obviously The Walking Dead. It's just a huge show now. And we're kind of going with that spin that they're inspired by The Walking Dead. I was very happy with, with the way those jerseys turned out. And I think we're going to get a lot of people here to, to bid on those jerseys. It's going to be quite crazy, I think. To your point, the, the more that gets raised, the, the better. And they are yeah. spectacular. You know, I've seen them pictures of the latest one. But not only do you do sponsorships, but you also have partnerships. We brought up the Lung Association and you know that they do the 50-50 and that's a, a, obviously a partner. You've got another major partner that, that you do a special event for. Tell me a bit about that. Yeah, Strong Start to Reading. It's um, organized by Lori Henderson. She's just a tremendous lady and she's the energy she's brought to, to the blast and Strong Start in general is just tremendous. Um, we've actually I just recently finished doing some training sessions with Strong Start to, to learn how to um, I guess teach kids how to read properly that might have some issues with that. So um, actually starting next week I'm going to be going to Cedarland School in Brantford every week to have a one-on-one -on -one kind of training session with the five to seven year old. And then in the next month or so we're actually going to start going into schools all over Brantford into the reserve. With, um, with Brad Jones as well as um, Cam Cameron Salt might help out in the reserve schools mm -hmm. and then Tim Porter, he's our new goalie, he's from the reserve as well. So we have those three guys that will kind of be coming with me or in helping read as well as myself reading to, to whole classrooms. So we're, we're really passionate about, about that cause and Lori Henderson have just been tremendous in that partnership, so we're very excited to get going with that. Yeah. Well, there's definitely something about getting the, the local community involved in sports, yeah. and reading is a great way of doing it. Uh, you got one extra thing that, that no other team can say that they have. You've got a special visitor that every so often comes and watches the games, Mr. Walter Gretzky himself. What's it like having Walter in the house? Uh, it's just tremendous. He's a world-recognized celebrity, obviously, being Wayne's dad, so every time he's here, I know the fans love it, and we all love it here, so um, it's tremendous. When you think about the Blast, you're now an employee of the Blast. That's something you've been looking forward to for a while now. Tell me a bit about that. What's it feel like? It feels great. Uh, I don't know if I've ever told you, but I grew up as a fan of the Blast. I was here opening night back in 2002, so I've just loved the brand for Blast, and um, I went to school for sport management at Durham College because I, I have a passion for the game of hockey. And then I did my internship with Peter and then the opportunity to jump on full time after I graduated came up. So I've been with him ever since. At the beginning of June is when I officially started full time. So it's been great to kind of work for the team that I grew up watching. So yeah. That's spectacular. Thank you. Yep, no